crap. Is that the delivery man? I told my family I wouldn't buy any more yarn. I'm gonna have to sneak it in the house. I just gotta make it to the door. I just gotta make it to the door. Make it to the door. Huh. I have to paint my door. Safe. You gotta find hiding places. Hey, babe. Who's at the door? It was nobody. Is that new yarn again? I've had this yarn forever. Today, we're gonna take a real crocheter's look at Hobie yarn. No fluff, just my unqualified opinion about this beautiful yarn that was provided by Hobie. Hobie's website is full of free patterns and additional perks, but I'm gonna tell you more about that later on in the video. I know you're here to hear about the yarn. Their yarn selection is amazing, so I was like a kid in a candy shop browsing through their website, but I didn't realize all the yarn that I picked out was acrylic. Color and texture is what catches my eye first, so don't kill me, I love texture. This review is gonna be short and sweet and to the point. We're gonna check out how it feels, how it crochets, and the final results. So let's take this down to the table. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Every like goes towards feeding my own dirty habits. We're gonna be looking at three yarns. We're gonna be checking out the Horizon, Amigo, and Carnival yarn. First, we're gonna look at the Horizon yarn. I received two cakes of Horizon yarn, one in the color Sky, and the second in the color Sun Up Sky. With these cakes, you'll receive 200 grams of yarn, which is 601 yards, or 550 meters of yarn. So you get a lot of yarn in one of these cakes. This is a light worsted weight, or a DK yarn. The recommended hook size is a four millimeter hook size. So let's take a closer look at these. This yarn is very soft to the touch. I can already tell by the feel of it that it's gonna have a nice drape. And once again, this is another everyday yarn. And look at the color, this is absolutely beautiful. As it says, it's sky, but I can see this working as a beach theme or something like this. And the sun up sky, to me, looks more like a sunset with all the beautiful blues and yellows and oranges. This is absolutely gorgeous. All right, I love the feel of this yarn and the colors, it really pop. So let's give this the stitch test. Let's give the quick crochet test. I've already worked three rows already. And so far, I can tell you I really like this yarn. I can say the yarn is spun pretty nicely. I wouldn't say tightly, but it's spun in a way where I'm not receiving any splits in my yarn at all and I can tell it is draping nicely already. And I'm able to pick it up with every single crochet stitch I make. So now I'm gonna show you what the colorway looks like completely worked up. All right, I ran the color Sun Up Sky through my knitting machine so you can see the colorway. I love doing this because sometimes when I buy yarns like this, I don't know exactly how the skein works up and I don't wanna spend the time crocheting, but it worked up in a beautiful color pattern and the yarn itself, it has a beautiful drape to it. Like I said, this will work with anything from shawls to blankets to baby items. So let's move on to the very next one. Next, we're gonna look at Amigo Worsted Weight Yarn. With one of these skeins, you get 50 grams of yarn, which is 109 yards or 100 meters of yarn. This is your basic everyday workhorse yarn. You use this with a five millimeter crochet hook. I can't say there's anything extremely special about this yarn. It's soft, but it's not like overly soft. This is your basic worsted weight yarn. You'll probably see me doing maybe a stitch tutorial with this maybe in the future. So not much to say about this. Let's give it the crochet hook test. Before I get into doing the crochet stitches, I want you to look at this tiny little swatch right here. Can you see the little plumpness of the stitches? I wasn't gonna like this yarn so much, but this is a very nice, cheap, worsted weight yarn. The stitches are very plump. But okay, I've already worked a couple rows with this. I do have a little con. I have noticed a little splitting with this yarn, but not so much that would deter me from using this. Like I said, the yarn strand itself leads to like fluffier stitches. It's not lifeless and dull when you're crocheting with it. You ever seen the crochet strands where it just seem that crochet strands, but the yarn strands are just seem flat with no life to it. This has, a, oh, can I zoom in? It has a little poof to it. And it gives my stitches a nice little plumpness. So I like this one. So let's move on to the very next yarn. Last, we're gonna look at the Carnival yarn. 
With this, you'll receive 100 grams of yarn. That's 262 yards or 240 meters of yarn. I picked out the color Berlin and Tenifer or Teneriff. I hope I pronounced this right, but I couldn't resist when I seen these two colors, especially this one. With this yarn, I don't know if the camera picks it up. There is a slight luster to it, which I find very beautiful. And also, let's see if you can see it closely. This is like a roving yarn. I can tell already with any type of yarn like this, when you're gonna crochet with it or knit with it, if you make a mistake, be careful when you're frogging your work because of the little fuzz that's around the yarn. Let's see if you can see the fuzz. Will cause it to catch when you are frogging you, your work. So pay attention to that. So let's get the texture of it. Oh, feel that squish. If I was on camera right now, you'll probably see me sniff this yarn. I'm a yarn sniffer. But this yarn is so soft. And ooh, what yarn weight is this? This is a light DK weight yarn and the recommended hook size for this is a four millimeter crochet hook. So let's give this a crochet test. So now let's give it the crochet test. Before I do this crochet test, look at these stitches. I've always loved the way this yarn, the way it works up when you're crocheting with it. It looks like beautiful golden twists. Doesn't it have like the luster of it? It looks more intricate than what a simple double crochet is. So let me hop into this. All right. I didn't notice any problems crocheting with it. It is so beautiful. No splitting, anything like that. But I have not gave it the frog test. But if it doesn't frog well, I can't blame this. It's just the make of like this loose or roving material. So let's give it the frog test. We know it crochets well. So let's see how it frogs. Oh. It's not too bad. It's not catchy. Usually this type of yarn, oh, there's a little catch. You have to be very cautious of how you pull. There it is. I caught a piece. So when you're crocheting, if you need to frog the whole project, don't do that. Please be careful when you frog because it will get stiff. But I don't blame this yarn. It's just the type of yarn it is. So let's give this, let's look at the colorway now. I ran the color Tenerife under my knitting machine so you guys can see how the colorway works up. All right, I didn't even hit every single color on this colorway because the yarn is so beautiful and this being the type of yarn that it is, I wanna use it later and I didn't wanna have to frog it and hit a whole bunch of snags. But look at the color transition. It, it's so smooth and seamless. This yarn is beautiful. Now that it's worked up on these knit stitches, can you see the sheen from this yarn? Oh, I cannot wait to make something with this. And the drape is beautiful. The yarn is light, it's not very heavy. I can definitely see making a shawl with this yarn. Oh, this is gorgeous. All right, so let's take this up to the table and give you my final review on everything. Here's my final review of Hobie yarn. The yarn I looked at, I would definitely use again. The colors are so bright and vibrant, they can probably make any pattern pop. Just be careful when you use that carnival yarn when you're frogging, because it will snag. And remember, you can also find free patterns to go along with any of these yarns on their website. And when you're there, take a look at Hobie Plus, which has patterns created by designers from all over the world. By joining Hobie Plus, you can get access to all these patterns, plus benefits. And then I mentioned they also have a bingo app where you can play along and win lots of free prizes. You can check all that out. All links will be down in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out my other reviews and I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.